Good morning everyone, today we are going to discuss about joint compression and joint distraction. We consider a joint. What do we basically mean by compression? Compression means when two joint surfaces are moving close to each other like this. This will be the joint compression. In joint compression the two joint surfaces comes close to each other. So what are the benefits of joint compression? To know the benefits we have to understand certain more things. We know that the joints are surrounded by basically what? Joints are surrounded by muscles. Muscles form an important component of the joints. So like muscles you have got your joint receptors which are nothing but specialized nerve endings that carry your impulses to the central nervous system. So what happens whenever the joint gets compressed, your joint receptors get compressed and from your joint receptors the impulse straight goes to where? Your central nervous system or your master brain. Okay so the information goes to the brain and brain results in sending signals to the muscle resulting in core contraction of the muscle. Core contraction will provide stability to the muscle. So this is regarding the compression of the joint. The compression of the joint, as I said, obviously results in increasing the joint stability. On the other hand, excessive joint compression can also lead to articular cartilage damage. So the compression that we are discussing is a sustainable one, one which is not causing lot or excessive trauma to the joint. Same way. So what will be the benefits of distraction? We have got a joint surface. As compression, I have mentioned that in compression two joint surface comes close to each other. In distraction, the two joint surface moves away from each other. So when two joint surfaces are moving away from each other, what will be the benefit? Suppose joint is immobilized. When a, whenever a joint is immobilized, you can see there will be a lot of adhesions present in the joint. So whenever you are distracting, there are greater chances that the adhesion gets stretched and ultimately the adhesion breaks. Whenever the adhesion breaks, what happens? The joint becomes more mobile. So whenever the joint becomes more mobile, a physiotherapist will be able to apply glides in a better manner. So that makes the joint more mobile. Whenever you are applying a distraction to the joint, if it is immobilized for a longer period of time, it results in increased mobility to the joint. 